what, two years ago here against Duke. It's the opening face-off, number five against number one. You've got the two winningest coaches in Division One on the sideline. New face-off rules, which we'll get into. And we are underway from Koskinen Stadium. Knocked out of bounds by Duke. It will be Denver ball to begin. The Pioneers already one game under their belt, a close scare against Utah last weekend. Still plenty of time on the shot clock, which had reset. Now Sowers will attack. Hanglin taking away that inside roll. Here comes O'Neal, and Brennan O'Neal, the freshman, Strong Island in the house. Welcome to the show. Sowers, eyes up. O'Neal, use of the body. Look at him lean in. He's a truck. I'm telling you, he's a truck. 6'2", 230. We watched him at the high school level. Just roll through defenders like... Sam Dwinell, part of the second midfield for Denver. Working against Braden Burke. Now Sullivan feeding X. There is Silstrop. This is an offense. They want to attack to get topside. And J.J. Silstrop does just that. And the sophomore out of California ties it at one. Double team on the wing. Silstrop tries it right-handed. It's not there. Curls left-handed, and he's able to... Can't get down on a knee anymore, Quint. It changes the equation. SNG stands for Standing Neutral Grip. Ethan Walker on the quick stick. And a couple of quick ones by Denver. The Pios with a 2-1 lead on number one Duke. From Peterborough, Ontario. Look at the left-handed handle in traffic. Played at Culver. He's now a graduate student. I and he's Paging got the short Dr. stick Reeves. matchup. Paging Dr. Reeves. That's right. Morrill has an opening. Sheets and scores. Three unanswered by Denver, all in the span of about 90 seconds. I think you're seeing a team who's coming off a game last week and. That sharpness playing at full speed is apparent here early. What do you do, Quint? If you're Denver and you're up, you probably just roll this ball into the corner. It looks like they're going to try to make a play. Oh! And did they beat the shot clock? Yes! They did. J.J. Silstrop already a three-point first quarter, two goals and a helper. You could hear a teammate yelling, eat it, eat it, eat it. Uh, they don't do that. They jam this ball inside, and I didn't think they would be as aggressive. And look at JT Giles Harris checks. His first midfield for Denver has to produce. Another shot, another goal for the Pioneers. Jackson Morrill, his second. Five straight for Denver. Jackson's got a pair. He's at X. That's directly the point behind position. Approached by a short stick. Kotler was calling for it on the skip. Couldn't get it to him cleanly. 33, Carpenter. Nice player on the far side, the lefty. Up top, it's Erickson. Drew Erickson, who had a goal against Utah, the junior out of Danville, California. Hey, you hear the reaction on the bench. High heat, plant your feet, grip it and rip it. Boom. Turn and rake from 15 plus, sidearm. Got a piece. Hours, you should be attacking from behind the goal forward. You've got to surround him by guys who want to play off ball. I mean, he made a star. He made stars out of guys like Connor McCarthy and Phil Robertson. And the Blue Devils 
finally end the Denver run. It's a Michael Sauer sighting. I've never seen a goal like this. I have never seen a goal like this. Whoops. Dyson Williams picks it off, but watch this. He tries to kick it, and then he kicks it. I have never seen a goal like this. That was kicked hey, you take by 23, him. Michael Sowers. They don't have a stable of great Dodgers. Nice move by Lucas Cutler. A little hesitation to get free, and Denver answers right back. Lefty rip, Yale transfer, Sias at Long Island. He's over a 30% shooter. Again, the plant and go on that long. As Quint said in the open, maybe the biggest freshman recruit in the history of college lacrosse. A lot of hype. Considered a generational talent out of high school. Feeding Dyson Williams. The freshman to the sophomore, O'Neal to Williams at 7-3. Dyson Williams, lefty from O'Neal. He's not a one-trick pony. He can feed. Eyes are up. He, can, he talked about just trying to develop that relationship, the chemistry, the unspoken, you know, just seeing a guy's body language. And there's Morrow, his Morrow. ability to get topside. Guess who got him the ball, his old Yale teammate, Lucas Kotler. And for Jackson Morrill, a hat trick in his second game for Denver and a flag down. Watch the tape of the Utah game. And much like what we're seeing from Michael Sowers today, Jackson Morrill just didn't look like he quite. Number 12, Kevin Quigley. Almost 50 career goals. Third midfielder. Sowers has his man hung up. Sowers gets it back. This is where he's dangerous. Sowers finding Catlett. You nailed it, Anish. This is where he's dangerous. He wants to play behind the goal. Look at him. He's not comfortable coming up past the goal. Walker against Carpenter. Tyler Carpenter's dad was a coach at Denver in the 80s. Samuel, mom is the head volleyball coach at Duke. Yeah, Jolene, longtime head volleyball coach. They get another reset. So this is basically like a third chance opportunity. Kotler inside, and that was too easy. Yale West, Quint. Morrill's got a hat trick. Kotler's got two. This is a rude awakening for Duke defense. Beat on ball. Watch this double team. It's just a stick. There's no bot. Bedour, Caputo. 20 seconds left on the extra man. Sowers probing. O'Neal on the wing. Sowers to O'Neal. That's what Duke fans have been waiting for. From the end zone, a wing shot, pass on the money. Who can cut it to three? Sowers finds O'Neal again! Little bow and arrow Duke selling. found a one-two punch. Nine-six. Sowers planted at X. He's got a cutter inside. Carpenter draws. Lowry had an angle, turned away, back to full strength. Lowry, face dodge, and score! Three unanswered by Duke, it's a two-goal game. Game on. If he continues to play at this level. We'll find out that game on the ACC Network as well, 4 p.m. Little Super Bowl appetizer. Got Denver, North Carolina on ESPNU earlier in the day. Caputo, bouncer, and he beats Thompson. Duke is within one. Topside dies, gets to the middle of the field. Look at the defense collapse. The 
Research Triangle area? Yeah, right outside of Raleigh. Three goals, three assists, and Dukes win against Denver a year ago. Ginder and Stathakis is taken by Denver. Let's see if they push. They do. It's Walker. Denver usually doesn't push transition off of face-off wins. They did that time, and it paid off. This is just this is scary. Stathakis loses the initial draw, but the wing play, it's Danny Logan. Who else? Yeah! Manipulate doubles. A Long Island kid who dreamt of playing for Duke. Kai Montgomery! A low rocket by the senior out of Big D, Dallas, Texas. Now everybody's eating. Right-handed split down the wing off the pick from Denenza. Lowry, Caputo, and Bedour on for Duke at the midfield. Bedour, lefty bouncer, another bounce shot, and Duke has pulled even. This is a great assist. Look at how the defense will shift and their eyes. Ball watching, Bedour flashes his stick. Caputo against Sparrow. Owen Caputo gives Duke the lead. Thought he was their best player a year ago. Coach Tierney said, that guy 13, he's come a long way. A little split right to left from the wing. John Danowski sitting on a timeout as well. Walsh. Will come at Kyle Smith. He loses Smith. Walsh shoots, and that could be the dagger. You talk about depth. Riley Walsh played a ton when he was a freshman. Almost the forgotten man today. A couple of championship weekend caliber teams. Duke certainly preseason number one, well deserved. As this game is worn on, the pieces fitting better and better. Look at Sowers. Great speed. Agility. Change of direction. You better have your ankle tape on. Ball game ends with the ball and Michael Sowers cross. 